I'm Tim Bingham. I'm a fire communications uh, supervisor at the OEMC 911 Center, and I've been here oh, almost 33 years, just over 32 years. And uh, I work in this room, which is called the electrical room. All the fire alarms and all the schools and hospitals and nursing homes and theaters, they all come through to here. And they come through these panels, if you can see them. And, um, and it's just a number, and the computer deciphers that number and sends it out to be dispatched. And uh, it all happens in less than 10 seconds, and we're on the way to those facilities. I would like to touch on that I have the exact same job my dad used to do when he left the World War II, he became a fireman. Then he was on that for a while, and he came into the fire alarm office and does exactly the same thing I'm doing. So it's, there's a little legacy in my family. Chicago Fire. Well, there's been several events that happened in the past that led to this system, starting with the Chicago Fire. Three years later, there was another huge fire in Chicago. Most people don't know about it in 1874, where several blocks were burned down. Then we had the Iroquois Fire in 1903. That's a theater downtown. Several people, mainly children, sad to say, lost their lives. And then it goes on. There was a hospital out in Peoria that burned down in, uh, right after the war, 1948 or something like that. And then we had our Lady of, of Angels Fire. That's grammar school. All these events. Um, led to them coming up with a fire alarm system, which would be, it's just, it's very simple. A wire goes to this uh, box at the school or theater or whatever, and when it's activated, it sends a number. That's all it is. It's all mechanical. We don't have to worry about radio interference or anything else. It's, and it works great. And uh, there's one there.